five fashion mistakes I used to make and that you're probably doing and how to fix them. Let's get into it, bitches. Numero uno, being scared to embrace color. I used to be scared of this when I was younger because in my mind, with my background, I'm very light in my heritage and so I was always conscious about how light I am and so I never really thought that colors really look good on me until I started learning and getting to know myself better and figuring out what colors look better on me. Figuring out what colors look better on you is a learning curve so take your time with this. You can google all types of like videos out there on how to put colors together but the way I fix it slowly but surely is adding one pop of color to your wardrobe. Albeit it could be through your lipstick, it could be through your eyeshadow, it could be with a pop of like color on your shoe. But start incorporating the color slowly but surely one pop of color at a time you can also try opposite colors but this is more of an advanced technique where you can take colors that wouldn't normally go together but somehow still work like let's say it's still in the same family color family that is so if you wear like a pastel green sweater with a pastel pink pants they are contrasting colors, but yet because they're in the pastel color wheel, they still work together and look beautiful. Numero dos, buying too much of the same thing. I was guilty of this. I used to buy so many little black dresses. It's always have a little black dress, but you do not need a wardrobe of little black dresses. You can take that same black dress and repurpose it and wear it as a skirt. One of the coolest tricks that I incorporate all the time when I'm tired of wearing it as the normal dress and run the gamut with this. You can wear blazers with this. You can wear sneakers with this. You can wear heels with this. You can wear flats with it. There's so many things that you can do with it. You can take your black little dress and repurpose it over and over and over again into many different styles so that it can work for you. You don't have to have a collection of the same black dress. Fashion mistake that I've made number three. <laughs> Ross me and say that I called her when I never called her. Mami, yo no te llamé. Yo no llamé, mami. Mami, ven acá. Don't forget your silhouette. This is something that, that I was notorious for back in the days. I'm tall and I'm thin. And so a lot of loose clothes on me, I look completely lost. And so one thing that I've learned through experience to find your balance, I try and cinch in my waist to give me some definition. I would also try and get like an asymmetrical sweater to show some skin so that I wouldn't look lost. Understand your body. What is it that you love about your body? And keep that in mind every time that you go ahead and get dressed because then it's a form of tailoring. All the clothes that you wear will look so much better on you because you understand your body and what works. Numero cuatro. I used to wear my jogging pants, sweatpants just for the gym. Mistake. Jogging pants have come a long way. You can do so many things with jogging pants nowadays. You can literally wear heels with your jogging pants. I know, breakthrough, who knew? I think it was by Versace quite a few years ago where the biggest thing was at leisure and they would take the tights and jogging pants and sport it with heels and that was one of the biggest runway trends going on for that time. I love the fact that I can juxtapose jogging pants with heels. You don't have to wear it with heels either. You can go ahead and wear it with sneakers and add a blazer if you want. You can wear just a sweater with it. In other words, you can take your jogging pants and actually dress it up and go out and have brunch with it. You can go out on a lunch date with it. You can go to the movies with it. You can go have dinner with it. Just put on heels and put on jewelry and things like that. That was a mistake of mine thinking that I could just wear jogging pants to the gym. You don't have to anymore. Jogging pants have come a long way. You can take them and elevate them and make them more upgraded for your outing. Isn't that amazing? So now you have the best of both worlds. You can be comfortable but stylish at the same time. Number five, and this is probably one of the most important ones, not looking in the mirror. I'm that type of person that I always used to have my clothing laid out the night before. I want to make sure everything is perfect for the day after and I still do that. But there was one thing I never used to do when I was younger and that was look in the mirror. And let me tell you that because of that alone, I used to encounter so many embarrassments. There was times I would go out and my skirt 
would be tucked into my underwear and you would see my butt cheek. Two, I would wear my shirt backwards. Has that happened to you guys where you would run out the house and your shirt was backwards and you're like in the train station, you're like, oh my God, what the hell is wrong with me? And it's completely backwards. You see the tag, you see the hemline, you see everything. <laughs> To the point where I just have to laugh at myself. Another thing that's happened to me is where, and when it's a buttoned up shirt, the hemline is symmetrical. It's actually out of balance. So you have one side higher or lower than the other side. <laughs> that happened to you? <laughs> and the worst offender I feel is transparent leggings. You know how many times I've seen this? Where it would be full blown sunshine. We can see all your panty lines and everything in between. Don't forget to look in the mirror because it can save you from so many embarrassments just like me <laughs> i hope you like this type of video give me a thumbs up dame un like subscribe to my canal for more videos and don't forget to hit that bell dale la notificacion la campana de notificacion so you won't miss out on my next video